but down on that side, of course. Gyarados is one of those Pokemon that uh, did have a mega evolution in X and Y, but now he gets access through level up to Crunch, so he has a very powerful stab Crunch to work with this fantastic base 155 attack. And of course, Mega Gyarados is quite bulky, so uh, you're going to want to either utilize Pokemon like Breloom that resists his stab combination, which do take note that Gyarados can learn Ice Fang and Bounce, so you have to be a little careful there. But uh, Breloom can resist both of its stab and hit it back or hit it before it can even use Dragon Dance with a Mach Punch or something like that or just put it to sleep with Spore. Uh, but now that Gyarados has access to Crunch, it can it is a much bigger threat. I believe it learns Crunch right here at level 41, whereas it didn't learn Crunch at all before. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with Gyarados. I think we might see a little of that just because of the fact that now it gets Crunch. Mawile, of course, uh, for those of you who play competitively in OU using Smog on and standard rules, was banned for a reason. Uh, just keep in mind how powerful this thing is. Uh, you can kind of see its before and after stats here. This thing is stronger than Mega Metachan with that huge power boost when it Mega Evolves. So that is just definitely something to keep in mind. And it's relatively bulky as well. It does have very low HP. Uh, once again, Priority will o -Wisp from something like Sableye or Mega Banette can help put Mawile in its place. But even with the burn, it still has pretty good attack that's above average. So just something to keep in mind there. You're, you're probably going to see either Swords Dance. Um, you're definitely going to see Play Rough and Iron Head and Swords Dance or Sucker Punch and uh, Substitute are also all moves that Mawile likes to use. He didn't really get much by means of the move tutors, except for now he can run Ice Punch uh, if he really, really wants to. I don't see him running Thunder Punch. Although there are a lot of water type Pokemon in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire uh, decks. So he may be running Thunder Punch, so please keep that in mind. Of course, Sableye is one of the new Pokemon uh, to get a Mega Evolution this uh, generation. And please be wary of the fact that it gets Magic Bounce. Um, it's really one of those double-edged swords. You can see a Sableye in the team preview, and they might not Mega Evolve it just to have access to Prankster Will-O-Wisp and Prankster Taunt, Prankster Recover. All those things can be quite annoying. Uh, after it Mega Evolves, it gets a nice boost to all of its stats and loses some speed. But the speed doesn't matter too much when it um, has those bulky defenses there. So if you do see a Mega Evolve, I would expect Calm Mind, a Calm Mind type set that I talked about in the Mega Overview video. And of course, Mega Sableye can't really touch fairies. So if you just bring a fairy along, that's a good way to deal with a lot of the um, dragons, whether they're Mega or not. Mega or not and also um, Sableye as well, because most fairies are very bulky, and so Shadow Ball isn't going to do much damage, and it, they also resist that dark type stab move. Um, similar to Mega Sceptile, of course, Mega Manectric is incredibly fast when it Mega Evolves. Uh, do keep in mind that when it Mega Evolves, it will have access to Intimidate. Um, it's not quite as fast as Mega Sceptile at 135 speed, so if you're uh, looking for a Mega Manectric counter, Mega Sceptile is not a counter by any means, but he is a decent check just because the overheat would do neutral damage. And of course, he's immune to the Lightning Rod. Please watch out for Hidden Power Ice, which is very common on Mega Manetri because of the infamous Bolt being combination. Uh, Manetri didn't really get many new tools either in this generation. Um, most notably, I guess, is now it can have access to Magnet Rise because it's really easy to take advantage of his weakness to ground. I don't think we'll see many Manectric using that, though. Uh, Sharpedo, of course, Mega Evolves. I don't think that we're going to see a lot of Sharpedo Mega Evolving right away. Um, if they can nab a speed boost from the regular Sharpedo form, uh, they may Mega Evolve after either protecting or trying to KO something outright with just Sharpedo. Uh, please keep in mind, with this attack stat being as high as it is, coupled with the strong jaw boost to crunch. That is an obscenely powerful attack. Uh, and it can, I think it even to it KOs something like Breloom, which resist it. So you're gonna wanna either bring something like Breloom the same way you would wanna deal with Gyarados with dark water. Of course, Breloom resists both those stabs and can hit him with a mock punch. So it won't matter how fast uh, Sharpedo is. Sharpedo does get access to Aqua Jet, but Breloom will resist that. So um, Breloom is looking better and better to bring, but we'll be talking about other Pokemon that aren't Megas to keep an eye out for in the next video. 
Now, of course, Camerupt, uh, if you see a Camerupt, especially alongside other slow Pokemon, definitely assume Trick Room. Uh, the easy way to deal with Camerupt, actually, Sharpedo handles Camerupt quite handily. Uh, even in Trick Room, of course, Sharpedo can Aqua Jet it. Um, Camerupt is quite bulky and hits obscenely hard with its attacks. Thanks to shoutouts to Trainer Connor there, um, you may see Mega Camerupt running Nature Power for cover just because it turns into a normal type move and try attack. Uh, which, um, especially with the Pokemon that are available in the Hoenn decks, might be a little bit difficult to get around there because now you're dealing with fire, ground, and normal all at the same time. 